popped in to show you my traveller's notebook that I've been making. Um, this traveller's notebook uh, is quite a long one. It's uh, I've been seeing on um, YouTube lots of the long traveller's notebooks. So I thought I'd have a go at making one myself. Um, also, what I did with this one, I actually... Um, I didn't just fold everything in half. I gave I gave a little bit of a spine just so that it would take some of the bulk because I usually find that there's quite a bit of bulk by the time I put everything in there. But this is just a short show and tell um, while I'm waiting for the cover uh, bits that I've put on to dry. Um, this is the cover here and I've just finished off the spine area here as well and I've put some lace on the back here so I'm just waiting it, it, it's nearly dry actually so no oh, that's not too bad but um, that's the inside and I've got an elasticated inside so that that's why there's little V's just been chopped out of some of the um, cardstock because it was too long and it was catching in the edge of the elastic but um, I can put it in there now a bit awkward there you go but can you see how I wasn't going to do a cover to it, uh, a closure, but I'm going to have to now because it's a very <laughs> chunky and I've hardly got anything in there really as well. But this uh, traveller's notebook really is for writing in um, as opposed to just throw everything in there, uh, pockets, tags. Uh, I really wanted this one for writing. So... Let's get started. As you can see, that's the front cover as you open it. No pocket or anything there either. It's just, there you can see, it's just one elasticated um, notebook. And as I say, it's just a flip through. We'll go through and show you some of the things in there. I'm not going to, that's a pocket there with a lovely tag that I made. That tag's I'm trying to, oh, I can't remember where all my digi images come from. I should make a note of them, but um, I'm sure I can find them if anybody wanted to know. And I made a pocket just with some paper it's no, it's music paper that um, from an old book. Most of everything in here is quite old, and it's all quite self-explanatory. There's a couple of them. Didn't want to make that a whole pocket, so I've just made it a little side pocket there. I don't think that. that oh, that is a pocket there as well. So if we take that out of there, see, got couple of things to finish off in here but I'm sure this one fits the same as it did oh it does there you go so that one could go in there this one's a bit big so I have a tag to make for that one and isn't that nice just you were there <laughs> might put a photo in there and done some moulding paste through a stencil there. I do like that. I've left that plain because I'm not sure. Um, I stamped on the other half of it. But I'm not sure whether I want to stamp on that one or not. Um, some washi tape down there and that was to reinforce the paper because some of this paper is really old and it um, tends to disintegrate, just uh, shreds away but 
this this one's quite an old one as well oh and this one i put a bit of um fabric there a very that's quite a harsh linen that one but it, it works quite well so and as you can see look i liked that so i left that the edge there isn't it lovely all the shreddy bits as I say, this is more for writing in and than anything else. Another pocket there. That doesn't really, they don't really fit in there, but um, I put them in there just so that I know it is a pocket. Oh, that's the back of it. Sorry, I'm fiddling here, but I wasn't sure. Whether it was a double pocket or whether it's just a single... No, it's just a single pocket, actually. So that goes in there, but it doesn't really go in there. I'll find something to put in there. A little tab there I made. Um, I'm just trying to pull that down, but I don't know why I'm trying to pull it down. I quite like it all bunched up like that, so... There she, I love that picture there she is there and I still don't know where I, that came from I think you can find it on Pinterest anyway in free images but it really is nice and again that's is that a pocket no that's just to reinforce the paper I think because as I say some of these papers are really old and I do like these images really sepia and old-fashioned they're gorgeous um now i showed this on instagram and somebody said oh i'd like to see what you do with that well i just put it onto this is um the middle elastic where it just comes i'll take it out actually because i want to do a closure there so this is just the middle here and she's on there and he's on that side and then there's just the postcard written um, embossed on there. Little raggedy with um, some lace and some buttons and some stamping. I think they're samples stamps. That is um, a pocket there. Well, no, it's not a pocket, it's a belly band, but I haven't put anything in there yet either. And then this is just old oh this really is um old paper as well and i had a uk stamp there and i put the stamp on there um, everything's just um thrown in here of what's on my desk as well this is just to reinforce the paper a little bit as well because they are i i love the color of them I, I knew they were uh, quite old and they tend to shred, but oh, the, the texture and the colour and the paper is just beautiful. So I had to use it. There. Oh, and that's just another. Uh, what I did with that, I I got it in the front here as well, and little bits here, I embossed and then I rub the ink pad over it after I'd embossed the image, rub the ink pad over, I think it was um, a distress oxide and then what I did I went over with white gesso and I just ripped pieces off and put them onto the papers and because I thought they were lovely just added extra bit of texture to it as well Oh, that's the other bit of um, the uh, cotton I put on to reinforce the paper on the other half of it. And there's some more of the ripped up paper with the um, embossing and inking and gesso. And then here, isn't that lovely, those birds? They really are beautiful. 
and just more gesso. Oh, and this is the one where I did stamping on it and gessoed it here. But the other one I left plain and I'm still not sure whether I, I, I want to leave it plain or not. Or do some stamp. I might do some stamping on there. But most of it's all finished now. Um, stamp the gentleman there because I thought he went really well in this notebook. And again, a little bit of embossed uh, paper and then gessoed. And this one's the same. Oh no, this one here, yes, it is embossed, but it's, um, oh, it was a frame. The embossing folder is a frame and I can't see that side because I had to reinforce this because it went quite flimsy as well. So, but this one's a pocket. Isn't that lovely, that old fashioned car and her with her umbrella and, and there's just a couple of things in there that just to show, because you can't really see this one's a pocket at all. I must put, um, I'm going to do that now, I think while I remember, no, I can't find my um, punch to do it. Uh, just to show that it is a pocket, but that's why I left those. So I'll leave those there for the time being anyway. And then there's that and that. And then there's just the back there with some gauze over it. But I wasn't going to do a closure, as I said, but it turned out... Oh, that's dried now. That's lovely. So that's the back now, just with a bit of that. This is very, very raggedy and shabby chic. But as I say, I want to do the closure now. So I'm going to get my, um, crocodile here, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to find the middle. Right, I'm going to turn you off for a minute while I find everything, because otherwise it just runs on. Hold on. Right, I'm back again. You didn't want to see me measuring and finding the middle, but um, I actually found the middle there. I've put my grommet or eyelet through there um, because I want to, as I said, I wasn't going to give this a closure, but I am now because it's so bulky but right I, you want to see what I'm doing I've got my elastic here I've just folded it over I've threaded it through the um, eyelet grommet now and I'm just going to loosely do a knot here I'm not going to do it very tight because what I want to find out is how big I want my elastic here. Um, no, that needs to be a little bit tighter. So let's do another one further down here. And let's untie this. Right, I think that's further down. Let's see. This, um, no rhyme, no reason. It's just trial and error when you do this to see how um, tight you want it to be. Right, let's test that now. It's a bit tighter. Oh, that's better. Um, yeah, um, that's probably about perfect now. I don't want to do it um, any tighter because I am going to put some more things in here. As I said, this is mainly for writing, but yeah, that I can live with that nicely. So there we go. Let's 
take this out now. Now what we'll do, we'll, um, now that I know where it is, what I don't want to have, that's going to be, if I leave that like that, that's going to be too bulky. So now I know where I want to do it, I'm going to go, whoops, if you do left over right, right over left, like that. Right, again, I'm not going to do it too tight. I should have done this in the first place. I'm making a right pig's ear out of this. <laughs> but, okay, let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's right, that's good. I must have had it about right. There you go. Now I'm going to pull this tight because I don't want it to come undone. And because I did it um, left over right and right over left, that's a reef knot and it's what we used to do in the guide, when I was a brownie and in the guides and we had um, neckerchiefs with woggles and I had a brown, it was in the brownies, and I had a brown owl, and she used to come and check us every week to see that we'd done our reef knots in the back of our neckerchief um, perfectly right. Well, could I get it? No. Every week she used to not slap me on the back of the head, but she'd tap my shoulders and say, Granny knot, Granny knot. I don't know why, I, it took me a long time. <laughs> to figure out and she kept saying left over right right over left I could never get it but I did get it in the end <laughs> oh dear how difficult could it be seriously but there you go and I've ne I, because of that though <coughs> excuse me I've never forgotten it um right now I've got that like that I'm happy and what's happening is here it's come through the other side nicely there. So there's that's going to be my tie. But so that it doesn't come undone, because you're gonna you're going to keep pulling this, so I'm going to put lots of glue round there, pull it into the glue. I'm going to put glue glue here and glue there. Right. A little bit more there, a little bit more there, and that's going to catch it, catch the elastic there. But what I don't want is to put paper over this because it's going to be quite bulky there. I'm just going to pull it, that's it, a little bit there and there so that it stays splayed open and taut. And then what? I've done this lovely bit of raggedy. I did it a while ago and stitched and put beads on. It really is pretty. And I thought what I'm going to do to hide the bulk as well, I'm going to put my raggedy there. So you can see the ugliness the other side all the stitches but let's put this here and put lots of glue on this i don't i don't mind how long this takes to dry actually it doesn't matter it can go overnight preferably but i really don't want that elastic to ever come out so it has to hold it really really taut and again I'm going to put more on the elastic here a bit more 
where the knot is. There. I know it looks excessive, but trust me, you don't want that elastic when it gets bigger as well to pull out. I'm going to just put this here now, like that. There. All over my fingers. There we go. I am so happy with that now. I think that looks really pretty. It's not going to look out of place as well when you open it. Um, press it down so that the elastic and the glue all fades in together underneath. Lovely. Now I'm going to put this in here. So that's going to go underneath there like that. My traveller's notebook. And that slots in there beautifully. That's going to be the back there. That's going to go there. And there isn't any glue seeping through. I can see that. Um, oh, there was a little bit on my um, craft mat there. So I'll just make sure that it's all been all picked up at the sides as well. Let's have a look. Yeah, just a little bit, that's good. And then what I'm going to do, no, I was gonna close it and then let it, um, flatten together so it pulls together but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to put something on there like that I'm going to put that to the side now there away and that's I'll leave that overnight now that can stay there like that while it all adheres to each other um, Oh, that's the elastic cord that I've used. I never use a thick one. I, I'm not keen on the thick ones, but what's it called? Benny, Benny Crate, Crate, Benny Crate. There, so that's going on there and that's going on there. Right, what I'm going to say now is, um, these here, I put these here just to give you a quick look at as well. These are all the little bits of lace and uh, fabric that I've been using for my new design team project, which is going to be my next video. And these are some of the things I'm just cutting out now and they're going I finished the um, signatures all the signatures for my design team project and here they are here so these are all the signatures finished and ready to go into my album I just have to finish the front of my album and then there's this one here as well so I have all these signatures two signatures here ready to go into the album and I just have to cut these out now and this will be my ne next video to show you what I've made right thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you in in, in the next video bye